everybody, this is Sarah Skopik and you're watching Traffic Musings. I know I do this every time I get my hair done, but do you perhaps notice something different about me? Uh, you can't tell because of how the lighting is. My hair's a different color. Like, super different color. Like, it's never been this color before. Like, I've never actually colored my hair before. So just the other day, I went to get my hair done because, well, I wanted to do that. That's a thing that I do sometimes. And part of what kind of inspired this was that, um, my hairdresser that I normally see, she's uh, going to be taking uh, leave from work for a couple of months, and so I was like, oh, I need to see her before <laughs> before my, I graduate, before summer hits, because she won't be there for a little bit. And um, also, because I'm graduating, and I was like, well, I should treat myself to something. I have never really colored my hair. You guys have seen that I've um, highlighted my hair, and the one time I technically, I guess, colored my hair, um, was when I was just dyeing it da back to like a dark brown color one time. Um, cause that's when I went to Philadelphia for a semester, for people who know that I did that. <laughs> I mention it like offhandedly in a billion episodes, but anyway, so that happened. And I just, I never colored my hair because I always felt like there was no right time to do it. I, I just really felt like there was no right time to go through it. You have to understand that when I was younger, A, um, for a lot of the schools I went to growing up, they actually didn't allow you to color your hair, or at least like not have it in an unnatural color or something like that. I think, I think they had some weird rule about that. Um, unless it was for like Spirit Week or something, I don't think you were allowed to, because it wasn't part of the dress code and it was distracting. Whatever, but anyway, and so like that was one thing. But even besides that, um, I was in dance, you know, dance classes all the way up until high school, <laughs> into my high school career, and I was in theater. And in the I mean, dance didn't really matter, but you didn't want to do anything too crazy with your hair because you were gonna have to put it into a nice clean bun, you know, during the dance recital. So you didn't usually want to cut it too weirdly, you know, for that. But in theater it was even worse because you, you know, I, you're auditioning for parts in a play and you're, so, you're not supposed to adjust your hair, especially once you get cast, unless, um, you know, you get permission basically, or it's for a part you're doing. And so I never really felt like I could really alter my hair with anything crazy. Um, like my senior year was the first year I ever did highlights in my hair and even those were pretty subtle. So I, you know, that, and that was like as far as I was willing to go. And um, then in college, I don't know why, I think I just didn't think about it because I was so busy with other things. I was just like, yeah, I'm not gonna worry about it. And you know, I'd trim my hair and get semi-highlights, but otherwise it was kind of like whatever, whatever, which college should have been the time I did it, to be honest, if I wanted to, you know, experiment with my hair, but I didn't, so I didn't think about it. And then by the time senior year hit, I was thinking about grad school, and I was also thinking about, when I got to grad school, my internships. Like, especially, like, my senior year of, of college, I was, um, half the year when I was in Philadelphia, I was, um, going to be doing an internship four days a week, and so I really wanted to look professional, and so I didn't want to do anything crazy with my hair, so I dyed it back brown, actually. And, um, uh, and so then during grad school, this, this past two years, you know, I'm in internships and um, there is a, a horror story I heard once um, where uh, uh, a, a teacher told this to me, or a professor told this to me, it wasn't one that that person I experienced, but there was a girl who was part of the program I'm in, the social work program, and she really wanted to work with the elderly population, geriatric population we call it, but she she liked to express herself in such a way where she would dye her hair in unnatural color, like bright pink or bright blue, and she had tattoos and she had piercings. And she actually had a really hard time finding an internship that would hire her, uh, simply because they were, you know, the concerns of the population of taking her seriously and stuff like that. So, you know, there's, there's like, not that I would have necessarily had that issue, but um, you know, there's that. I was also kind of overly concerned by like uh, certain other people who knew me that were like kind of talking about, you know, older like people dyeing their hair different colors and how like they should be over that already. And so I kind of felt like, oh, well, I guess I can no longer look forward to dyeing my hair. Um, and so I just didn't. But then basically I was like, screw it. You know, I'm going to have to look for a job, probably not right away. That's a different episode. I'll have to explain that. But I will have to do that eventually. But you know what? I, I'm just gonna go for it. And so I did, and I love it. I am so happy with this hair color. You can kind of tell. It's that like dark cherry, dark raspberry kind of color. And I have adored, secretly adored this hair color for a long time. Um, whenever I would see it on people, I would look it up and such. I've always 
like when it came to like if you could dye your hair any color would it be it was this color like I've always loved this color and um but I just never felt like I could do it uh I, I just like it because it's got purples and reds in it but it's still like subtle enough that it looks nice but not too weird and I don't know I just I've always loved this color on hair and I just was never brave enough to to go for it and finally I was just like screw it we're just gonna go for it and you know I went to my hairdresser and I wasn't sure if my hairdresser would think this was a good color on me just because I am very pale and I wasn't sure like uh, if she thought it'd be okay or whatever. I mean, she's a hairdresser. She's gonna, you know, I, I'm, I'm gonna, she's gonna probably do what I say, but still, I, her opinion matters to me as far as, like, do you think this would look good? And, um, I tried to describe the color, and, uh, she showed me a picture, and it was this color, and I was like, yes, that, that, I want that color! And she's like, yeah, yeah, I think it'll look great on you! And so, we did it, and when she first, like, blew dry my hair, she's like, look at that! I was like, oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm so happy! And, uh, I don't know, I just, I just love in this color, uh, First time I've ever really dyed my hair, like actually like a, an unnatural color. Um, I guess technically there was one other time I dyed my hair. I didn't actually dye my hair. Uh, when I was in elementary school, my cousin who was in the swim team at the time, um, swim, I've noticed swim teams always have weird traditions when it comes to hair, whatever. I. One of my one of my best friends uh, used to be on the swim team in high school, and he would bleach his hair, and his hair was naturally black, and so it would turn out like yellow. It was quite funny, but anyway, um, so <laughs> that's not the point. The point is, is that my cousin who was on the swim team, they seemed to have a tradition um, where sometimes they'd shave their heads, uh, which made sense for swimming, but they also um, sometimes I think would dye their hair blue. They at least had blue dye around for some reason, and I was over at his house once um, when he was doing that and he got permission from my mom to like dye sections of my hair blue. I never actually saw it because I'm surprised no one took a picture. Maybe they did and I don't remember the picture. They dyed like the back ends of my section of my hair blue so it was more like you had to kind of lift, it was like secret color so you had to kind of like lift it up to show it just because like my mom did not want it obvious even though I was in elementary school. In elementary school, I remember this distinctly, they didn't care if you colored your hair. They didn't care about that part and so I was allowed to get away with it but my mom still didn't want to make a big deal about it and so you know she called they had only like a small section of my hair blue and I do remember like going to school and showing people I'm like look I have a section of my hair blue but I had never seen it I so I actually didn't even know if it was even there and so I'm like can you can you see it like is it there and all my friends were like oh my gosh it's so cool I see it I see it I'm like okay I have a section of my hair that's blue um but that was that was forever ago that was that's that's almost 20 years ago so <laughs> Uh, at least 15 years ago. So uh, that, that was the thing that did happen. But otherwise, like, you know, dyeing my hair in unnatural hair color, first time. First time ever. So um, we're, we're going to see what happens. I, I don't know if I'm going to, like, do this forever. I'm going to keep it for a while because I, I think I'm now over the the worry of does it look professional. Um, especially when I go looking for a job. I'm not, if this is what prevents me from getting um, good hair, uh, I'm sorry, I think this prevents me getting good hair. If this is what prevents me from getting a good job, that's kind of terrifying. And, um, yeah, it's kind of mean. I don't know. I don't think it's that that crazy. I think that's why I like it so much. I think I mentioned that. It's just subtle and it's just nice. And I don't know. I, I'm very happy with this color. I feel it's very, personally at least, I feel it's very me kind of color. Like, this really represents me. I don't know. It's, that sounds weird, right? Like, hair color. But I don't know. I feel, I just feel really good with this color. Um, so, I, I just feel very confident and just, like, take on the world with this color. Uh, more so than I usually do after a good haircut. So, I, I don't know. I'm probably going to keep this for a while, touch it up, and then maybe one day just be like, yeah, I'll go back to brown and for a while and then probably go back again. Um, I like doing it this way because even though hair dye isn't great for your hair, period, at least I don't have to bleach it. So, that's at least nice. Um, don't have to worry about destroying it that way. I think the other reason I like this hair color, and this is going to sound super pretentious, but I don't know if I've ever talked to you guys about my eye color. Have I talked about eye color? We're gonna talk about it real quick. Um, so for those of you who don't know, I have a weird eye color that has so little, the melatonin in it is in such a way that it just, it, it looks like it changes color. It's of course not actually changing color, but like depending on the way the light hits it and stuff. Um, and, and I know everyone's eyes are like that, but mine are pretty extreme in that way. Um, in that it will look either blue totally green, totally gray, like it's very, they're hazel, like very stark different kinds of colors. Um, 
And uh, I think the best way to describe it is my boyfriend, being very loving, says he reminds him of the ocean changing colors. My brother, not being so loving, but just as accurate, says it looks like dirty dishwash dishwater. So both are accurate descriptions, I should say. Uh, <laughs> Because it, it's just very strange. And so, depending on, like, the clothes I wear, it does, like, seem to kind of reflect that color. And so it just looks like it changes color. Um, for a very long time, I didn't know what my eye color was. Whenever I had to fill out anything where I had to fill out, like, an eye color, I would look to the person um, and be like, just tell me what color you see. Uh, my, my favorite story is about eye color because people at first don't believe me. They're like, what do you mean you have eyes that change color? Everybody says that. And um, two, in, in one story that I have that, that proves this point that I always say, and I still remember this, I was in middle school, I had, I was, we were waiting to go to school, like we're waiting, you know, outside before the bell rings, and I'm with a couple of my friends, and I mentioned to them, like, yeah, I don't know what my eye color is, of, of course, they're like, what do you mean you don't know, and to prove my point, I had three girls standing in front of me, equidistant, and I said, what color are my eyes? Each one said a different color. One said green, one said blue, and one said gray. It was really funny, and I was like, see? <laughs> Everyone sees a different color. I don't understand. And uh, I, just stuff like that I always always cracks me up. I remember, too, when I went to the, the DMV to get my license, and they asked for eye color, and they, you just fill in the blank. There wasn't, like, a circle option. So I put blue-green, because usually when people ask, I usually just say, like, eh, blue-green, I guess. And the lady was like, we can't put that down. There's no code for that unless you have, like, bi, you know, bicolored or heterochromia. And I was like, well, I don't have that. And I just looked at her, I said, what are the police going to think my eye color is? And she said blue, so that's why my license, blue, my license it says blue. My mom swears they're green. Um, other people say that, and I've had a lot of people that swear they're gray. Uh, when you take pictures of them in the right light, they turn brown. So I don't really understand. Uh, it doesn't make a lot of sense, but that's that's okay. I think one of the sweetest things that with my boyfriend Alex that happened was um, when we, before we started dating, so he's like, we're kind of like, he's kind of taking me out to things. We're, we're kind of just hanging out with friends kind of thing. And one, uh, one night, uh, he turns to me and he goes, I have to ask you, what color are your eyes? And I laughed because I was like, good question. And he is, because he happened to notice. And one of the things I thought was really cute about him at the time is he happened to notice that they, they changed on him. Like he thought they were one color and then he looked at him more closely at another time. And it's like, they, they changed color on me. He was very confused. And I just thought that was adorable because like, oh, hey, somebody noticed, you know, kind of thing. And to this day, I, people still can't agree. Like, they'll, I'll have them look really closely because I will ask people, like, look really closely and tell me. And when they look too close, like, you, they can't figure it out. It's just like, I, it's a weird color. Um, so that's kind of funny. And I think that's one of the reasons I like this hair color because it's kind of a similar thing. Like, depending on how the light hits it and what clothes I'm wearing, it, the color doesn't change, but it, it, it blends with different colors, you know. With a purple shirt, I think it, you see more purple in it, while in the sunlight it looks much more like bright red, you know, and such like that, which is really cool. Uh, and I, I just like that kind of thing. It's also one of the reasons my favorite color is periwinkle. I say it's purple, but it, it's actually periwinkle because, um, like, the color of the flower. Because if you put purple next to it, it looks blue, and if you put blue next to it, it looks purple. I just have a weird obsession with, like, Thing, like color changing things probably explains why I like mood rings so much um I don't know I just love those kinds of things so yeah I love my hair I'm fine with my eyes it's, it's, it's cool even if like I don't know what color to describe them as but hey it's an interesting conversation piece I guess with people and it's always kind of fun to see what color they see um but yeah that's all Thanks. <laughs> I hope you all have a wonderful day. I hope something amazing happens too. Without further ado, I hope to see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye!